So when I was a kid of 14, let me tell you, and I've got to watch I don't cry here. When I was a kid of 14, being an orphan and never having a mum and dad, uh, which I tell a bit about in my story, this is my story. I remember when I escaped from the boy's home and I put my hand into the hand of the policeman and I said, I wish you were my daddy. I've never had a daddy. And then I used to always try and pal up with kids uh, who had parents visit them just to get a, a lolly or candy or something, see. And then uh, I was shipped out, being a ward of the state, uh, to a place called Cold Goa, way up in the Mallee. I got the huge sum of 10 shillings and sixpence a week. <laughs> and then I got a raise next year, 12 shillings and sixpence a week. Anybody remember a shilling? Anyway, so one of the days I came down to big, big city of Melbourne uh, for a holiday and uh, I went to the Salvation Army in Burke Street. Now, I was a kid of 14 and uh, those of you who have come from Salvation Army and know that, uh, know anything about it. In those days, they used to have what they call fishers of men. Follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. So at the uh, close of the service, uh, this lady come up to me and 60 Burke Street, Melbourne, kid of 14, I was sitting at the very back seat, uh, ready to escape, you know, in case I got convicted or anything like that. And she said, have you ever given your heart to Jesus? I said, no. She said, would you like to? It's only come up the mercy seat or the penitent form. So the band was playing and it was, it's still so real to me, as I'll tell you why. The band was playing only a step to Jesus. Why not take it now? Come on your sins confessing. You will receive the blessing. Do not reject the mercy that freely offered, is freely offered to you. And I remember that and I thought, I went out the front. I knelt at the Salvation Army penitent form as a kid of 14, frightened, timid, believe it or not, um, spacey, spacey kid, suicidal, wondering where my parents were, why I was dumped at three months of, of age, all that type of thing. But I went out the front and gave my heart to Jesus. No fanfare, just the peace of God. It was the beginning of knowing God as my father. Well, amazing thing, about 61 years later, the Salvation Army in Burke Street had closed down the, the services and they had gone mainly to social work, uh, giving people jobs and all this type of thing. And uh, I was asked to do a seminar on end time events, which I did for Graham and Sue. And at the end of it, I, I was very, very moved because I said to the people, I said, we're going to finish the seminar. I just want to testify to you. And this, this is what happened. Years ago, when I came down to the big city of Melbourne, and then I joined the Box Hill Salvation Army Band, uh, learned about four different instruments. Don't know how to suck or blow now. <laughs> and uh, I remember just as a kid, sitting in the Salvation Army Hall and some of the old Salvationists, and th this is the thing that hit me so much, some of the old Salvationists would say, when we were younger, we accepted the Lord as our Saviour. The Bible says, remember your Creator in the days of your youth. Uh, by the way, just uh, put your hands up. How many became Christians uh, when you were in your teen years? Uh, hands up. It's just an historical fact, and it works in any congregation, that the same sun that melts the snow hardens the mud. So keep your heart like snow, because the older you get, the harder it is, and your heart becomes like mud, hard. And I remember some of these old salvationists would say, I accepted the Lord when I was... Just a teenager. Remember you were created in the days of your youth. But then I backslid. 
I slipped away from the Lord. And then I came back to Jesus in my old age. But they, they, they would cry and cry. And this would stuck in my heart. Wasted years, wasted years, wasted years. We can never seem to get back. We just think of all the wasted years where we accepted the Lord, then backslid, slipped away from the Lord. Now we're old. And that stuck in me. And so back to Burke Street. As I finished the seminar, I said to the people, I told them my testimony, which I'm telling you now, that I was just about 14, sitting in the back seat of the Salvation Army there and coming out to the Pentateuch. Here was the thing. 61 years ago, and I was 75 years of age, I could look back. I was standing on the very spot where I gave my heart to Jesus and I could look back, no wasted years. I want to challenge you on that. If you're away from God or you're backslidden, you'll kick yourself as these people did. Wasted years, wasted years. And they say, don't waste your years. I can look back and I can tell you today, you know, it's, I'm 72 years now since I gave my heart to Christ. 72 and 14 is 86. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> and I want to testify to you. Don't waste your years. Redeem the time. Discipline your time. I still do it after these years. Read the word, have my prayer. My wife's the same. Uh, that's it. And these disciplines I've imposed on, my, on myself. So, I want to leave that with you this, uh, tonight, tonight. It was a very emotional time as I looked back that I hadn't got wasted years where I kicked myself. So, I want to challenge you. Why, why, why don't you just uh, close your eyes in prayer now? I've gone through seven disciplines that I said I imposed on myself, and I'd like to encourage you. I hope, you, I hope you've been challenged by some of the things I've said. As I said, each of a message in itself. So, what about discipline of your mind? Garbage in, garbage out. Guarding the gates, the eye gate and the ear gate. Sin entered through the mind. If you're not doing that, I want to challenge you. What about discipline of your attitudes? What about discipline of prayer? What about discipline of the Word? What about discipline of your spirit? What about just being disciplined of honesty? Not playing the hypocrite. And what about discipline of time? If you want to respond to any of that, any of those, maybe all of them, and you say, this is my New Year's resolution, I want to do that by the grace of God. Why don't you just raise your hand wherever you are, anybody at all. Yes, lots of hands. And I, I, I'd like to challenge you and leave that with you. Discipline, discipline. Why don't we all stand? And why don't we just join our hands across the auditorium or in the balcony uh, or either side, right side, left side. Uh, why don't we just join our hands together? Father, we just stand in your presence in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, for, Father, for the privilege of sharing together of uh, your inexhaustible, your wonderful word. And Father, I just humbly thank you from the bottom of my heart that as I look back over so many years, no wasted years, that you've kept me by your grace and you've helped me to impose these disciplines on myself. I can't impose them on anybody else, Lord. We have to do it. So I pray for everybody who raised their hand, Lord, brothers and sisters, younger people, older people, Lord, just help us to look back over our life and say, no wasted years, no lost time. Help us, Father. And we pray that you'll seal this word to all of our hearts. And we ask this in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And everybody said, amen. God bless you and thank you so much. Thank you, Mark.